although the outside is rough, and we do mean rough, and it has been a month of really hard work, let me show you the inside. I thought you'd be interested in seeing the inside. Now, vandals have been up here, so the rest of the stuff that you're fixing to see A lot of it's garbage and they've rooted around and done whatever they wanted to do. But here's the kitchen area. I'm watching where I'm stepping. And then a water heater goes there. And then I can find the light switch. Is there a light switch in the bathroom? Be right back. Okay, bathroom. Now, it needs a good scrubbing. But, shower, tub. And then I'm gonna take you upstairs. All right, here's the stairs. Nice little shelves here. I mean, Trevor could do wonders with this. So. It's just a little cabin. But. Ceiling fan. The beams. Sealing the deck, the porch, whatever you want to call it. So we've got the outside done, not the stairs because we're walking. Ta-da! One board at a time. Say hi, Trevor. Hello, Trevor. <laughs> Missed a spot. <laughs> You did, right here. See it? Nope. Right there. I can't see it. Okay. So we are starting the cabinets. This is stripping them down. Of course, Mr. Chocolate has to be supervisor. First coat of paint. Second coat of paint. And I'll show you pictures of them in just a minute inside the house. There you go. With the butcher block countertop. With the hardware and doors installed. The uh, oven is in place. While they're unpacking the rest of his stuff, Trevor's moving up here tonight. It's a very tight squeeze. If he puts the bed up against the window, it uh, cuts off most of the light and uh, it gets really dark up here. Today is plumbing day. Hold everything. Out of the storage shed. 
the water heater. There will be a water softener system right there. And then they can run the water line when it comes in from this wall. And they can run the water line around and into the house. So all of this is gonna get insulated and secured up. So it stays temperature controlled. Now excuse the mess. We're just getting everything set up in here. But I wanted to explain how the hunter because this was a hunter's cabin, had this set up. They would bring up a barrel of water and they would pump it into this barrel until it's full. Then, they have a pump and then a water heater and then that supplies the shower. This will all be taken care of today. The plumber comes today. And all of this will be moved to the outside storage on the other side of that wall. Water will come through for the shower. And the toilet and the sink. We have our faucet and everything here. Then the water will run. I have no idea how they're gonna do it, but they will run it around and to the kitchen sink. So all the water will come until we get a well. Uh, wells are expensive, but until we get the well dug, the water will come from that barrel on the other side of that wall, and then we can just fill it up from the outside. We will still have the pump. We will still have the um, water heater. Just all of this will go away. We have a big tall cabinet that is going to go all on this wall so he can use it as like a pantry. I am refinishing that as we speak. These are the cabinets that I've already finished. And the ones I'm working on now are the upper cabinets. Then we have to, on Thursday, I get my new stove and oven and Trevor gets our old one. And then we can install a countertop going here and across here. So, but that's the plan for the inside of the cabin. And all of this will go away. Trevor's thinking about blocking off this right here and having a door go this way and making that into a closet because there is no closet in this house, in this cabin. And just utilizing the under the, under the uh, stairs space. Trevor's uncle Jeff goes out shed hunting. So he gave all of these to Trevor and Trevor's going to make a chandelier out of them. Can't wait to see that. It has built-in shelves. When we had the electrician here the other day, we had them put a plug right there so that he could plug in his lamp without running an extension cord. Trevor's plan is to put a window facing out. Uh, right there above the sink and then the hunter had this octagonal window 
and we are going to have it installed right up there. Butch and Trevor framed in and replaced the roof on this portion and put in the soffit and all the siding. They replaced all the siding on this portion. It needs to be power washed, but. They replaced this corner that had fallen in due to rot and tree branch. Trevor and I are going to fill this in with some soil and then we're going to put ground cover on top of it and he's going to plant two sand cherries and two coleus in there here's all the siding for replacement and some tin and everything for the barn that's out back where eventually he hopes to have a Jacob sheep. After the plum after the plumbers are done today, uh, we can finish buttoning up this side. Finish the soffit and then can take this tin down, put up new insulation, and finish it with the siding also. Trevor and Butch did the soffit over on this side. So is his getting there. This will be his little sun deck. Now over off the sun deck, we have the ground cover laid. But this strip right here is going to be for a water catchment system. Um, so it will drain off the gutters that Bush and Trevor installed. And it will drain into, he's laying the barrels on its side. And the bottom one will have a water spigot that he can attach a hose to. And then he's gonna have a second one laying on its side that uh, will supply the pressure for the bottom one. So it will flow from the top one into the bottom one and then out the spigot. The water well is gonna go over here. So they're gonna trench today across here and put a connection there for when the well gets dug. The people who punch the well are um, backlogged about October, November time frame. So he will still be working with the pump and the barrels of water and everything from inside this little storage unit. Trevor's bedroom is up the stairs to the loft. We found these really neat little dressers at Etc. One of my favorite stores ever with these leather little um, suitcases. Then he plans on making some uh, storage up underneath the, the peak and he can store his winter clothes behind the bed. Has a nice bright window. Has a light up here, but he's planning on putting an itty bitty little ceiling fan up there. <laughs> or drop it down a little bit, but I would hate for him to chop his, he's, he's a tall drink of water, so I would hate for him to chop his head off. But this is a king size bed, king size sleigh bed. This is just a cord. That's for his charger. 
but there's this little nightstand we found. It was perfect. Freedom stick. Like I said, the octagonal window will go here. This is his coat rack that we also found at Etc. And it fits perfect in that spot. He can hang all his hats, coats, shoes, everything. So that's the cabin.